anything more thrilling than a new frock. Good evening, everyone. You look very glamorous. Oh. <laughs> well, we really are living in the modern world. How does it look? Expensive. Rose, you are not wearing that dress, and that is final. Daddy, please stick up for me. She looks like a slut. Golly, that'd be useful. Oh, yummy. I nearly put out the new dinner jacket, my lord, but then Mr. Carson said the dowager was dining here. Quite right. Mustn't frighten the horses. All the chaps are wearing them in London. Only for informal evenings, of course. Why are you not in white tie? Darling, please forgive me. I'm afraid they never sent my tails back. Oh, do you think I might have a drink? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were a waiter. What's going on? They're forcing me into a morning coat. He has no say in it. No, he doesn't, and nor do you. You look very smart. I hope so, because I'm extremely uncomfortable. You both looked splendid. You didn't look so bad yourself. If I'm going to the theater, then I ought to change. Yes, I should. Can we see it with the hat? <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm going upstairs to take off my hat. If I ever wanted to attract a man, I'd stay clear of those clothes and that hat. She was certainly reluctant to go into mourning. Well, she'll have to. We all will. O'Brien's sorting out my black now. Oh, I hate black. It's not for long. Mama says we can go into half mourning next month. This tweed is too thick. It looks more suited to shooting than walking. Didn't know there was a difference. When did you decide to ride? Yesterday, when I was having my yes, hair done in York. Why so turn up looking like a cross between a Vogue fashion plate and a case of dynamite? When will it be over? Not soon. They go round and round. Why don't we have a party to cheer ourselves up? That'll be fun. Don't support your cat to dance. I'd absolutely love to. 